How did I learn mycology? Um, I, I read a lot. I read a lot. So let me give you some mycology reads if you want to learn more. First of all, the, the Little Book of Fungi. It's really cute. It has a lot of information in a very condensed form. And look, it's travel size. It is the size of my hand. Next, we have the only one I've actually finished in this whole list, uh, The Mycocultural Revolution by Peter McCoy. Um, it's really great. You can very clearly see that I have read it a few times. It does have like a guide for cultivating mushrooms and it's really, really cool. And it also covers a, a pretty wide variety of mushroom stuff. We've also got Entangled Life by Merlin Sheldrake. This one is a lot harder to read just because it's a lot more scientific, but it also has a lot of information, specifically about mycorrhiza for pretty obvious reasons. Merlin Sheldrake does a lot of mycorrhizal research. Of course, Passport to Kingdom Fungi by Dr. Gordon Walker. I pre-ordered this one in like September and it just came and I think I'm in like 30, yeah, I'm 30 pages in, but it's really good, has a lot of information, good for both beginners and experienced mycologists, I think. It has a lot of information that is new even to me as someone who's been reading about mycology for years now. And last but not least, one that my partner bought me this weekend, so obviously haven't finished, uh, The Truffle Underground. You'll never guess what it's about. It's really interesting so far. It, 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 so far it's just talking about like truffle thievery in France in the 2000s. There's definitely more. Obviously I didn't include field guides. I, I do recommend checking out some of those books. There's a lot you can learn just from those. And obviously there's stuff you can't learn from those and you just need to like actually get out there and learn it yourself. Yeah, that's all. Follow for more Fungus Facts.